Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. Just thought I'd throw out a Rack and Load review of the ASG Dan Wesson 6 inch pellet firing revolver, not BB. This is the pellet firing one because it's got the rifle barrel. Now, it's not bad to be fair. Um, it has got a few sort of bits on it that I'm not keen on, you know few quality issues but for the money which is around 160 pounds here in the UK it's not bad you know um, you're gonna get quite a lot of enjoyment out of this gun firing it in the backyard or the back garden now let's talk about this gun then in some detail so first of all the grip uh, it looks like it's a hoe type rubber but it's not it's ABS or polymer um, it's okay but you know it'd be nice if it was like a rubberized grip uh, the thing I do like about it is the way you uh, load your co2 cartridges not basically taking the side of one of the grips off like you do in most co2 uh, air pistols this basically you just pull the grip back and it sort of slides open like that it stays on nothing comes off uh, that's pretty cool and there's your the well for the uh, for the CO2 bulb, your 12 gram CO2 bulb, you just basically uh, drop that thing in. Obviously, you've got to undo the the screw there. This is a used uh, cartridge, by the way. I'm trying to do this on camera is a bit of a fiddle, but anyway, you get the idea. So you obviously you put your uh, your cartridge in there, and then you've got to turn that screw to pierce it and you'll hear it sort of hiss into the uh, internals of the of the gun and then basically you just close your hand lock and you're good to go well not quite good to go you've got to load up your cartridges but I'll talk about that in a minute so that's the handle it's pretty cool I mean I do like the design of that I like the way they've done that how it will stand the test of time because it is a little flimsy I don't know would that break off eventually don't know but it does feel a little bit flimsy but it's a still it's a, it's a nice design so the rest of the gun it feels quite good quality you know it looks good with the the ribbon along the barrel um, you know, you've got serial numbers and stuff, and there's your uh, cylinder release. Uh, it also doubles as a safety as well. If you pull it back, that's your safety. Obviously, push it forward, that releases the cylinder. Now, the cylinder is uh, fairly heavy duty. And it does look quite cool. It's got a working um, ejector there. So that's nice. The rest of the gun does feel the uh, feel quite good. Obviously, it hasn't been milled out of a single billet of uh, steel or anything, but uh, it does feel quite good. You know, fairly heavy duty. Now, the trigger. Obviously, you've got single action and you've got double action. It's not bad. It's a little bit clunky, but you know, like I said, this is an air pistol, it's not a firearm, so do not expect firearm quality. But you've got your single action and your double action, so yeah, it's nice, it's doable, you'll, you'll get the feel of it. Obviously, it's a little bit heavier on uh, double action, but single action, it's not bad. Now the barrel on this Dan Wesson is rifled because this is the pellet firing version. So that'll add a little bit to the accuracy. And here's the other side. One of the things I don't like is that it's uh, got made in Taiwan stamped on the side. I mean, they could have at least put one of them little stickers that you can scratch off. Why they've got to put that on the side of the gun, I don't know. Obviously, 
ASG's logos on there, that's understandable, but you know, they could have just put a little sticker on there, you know, so you can just get rid of it. But I don't know, that's just me, I don't like that. Maybe it would uh, sort of, I don't know, peel off maybe or scratch off. But anyway, that's just me. But uh, obviously, this uh, this side of the gun is where all the uh, the access is to all the working parts in there because you've got three screws to get at all the uh, the guts of the gun. Not that you'd have to really get in there unless you was changing seals or whatnot. Sights, not too bad. Um, nothing really uh, exciting about them. They they adjust. Front sight obviously fixed. That would be nice if it was a fibre optic to be fair but it's just a fixed uh, fixed post with a painted dot on there in red but that would have been nice if that was a, a fibre optic. You can swap this uh, rear sight out uh, for the uh, tactical rail as ASG call it. So basically you take that off and drop your, drop your rail on there comes with uh, all the bits and pieces how to do that and tells you in the instructions as well so basically you could bang like a, a red dot scope on there of some sort now what I do like about this Dan Wesson is the fact that it comes with speed loader not really speedy on my part but you get the idea but yeah, comes with a speed loader. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think you'll want more of these to be fair and more of the cartridges because when I was shooting this gun, I was spending more time loading it than I was uh, actually shooting it. So one of these 12 gram CO2 bulbs will last you ages because you'll spend most of your time reloading. So talking about reloading, let's just... Uh, get these out, like I said you got a working ejector there so let's just empty them out and we'll talk about the cartridges so these are basically solid brass hollow cartridges and what you do is you just unscrew the end or the bullet well that's what it looks like, that's what it's supposed to be, it's made to look like a bullet head you unscrew that, which is, thankfully, metal. At first I thought, oh, that's plastic, that's not going to last five minutes. But no, it is metal, and uh, the threads really are quite good. You know, you'd sort of struggle to, to cross-thread these, like probably what I'm going to do in a minute, doing this on camera in gloves. But, uh, yeah, they, that works well. I was quite impressed with that, to be fair. So there's your, your brass cartridge, you don't do anything with that, that's basically for the CO2 to pass through. So you're left with your bullet head, basically, that's what you'd call it, and you pretty much just drop your pellet in there. So there's the bullet head, as I call it, from the, uh, the cartridge, and basically you just drop your pellet in there like that and it'll take quite a few different types of pellets so you can kind of experiment it'll fire pretty much uh, most of them I found that uh, flatheads or target wad cutters tend to work better than most so yeah you basically just put your pellet in like so and then get your cartridge your brass bit and uh, just screw that up Screw it up and there you go. There's your pellet in there. And the beauty of this gun is you could put a few different flavour pellets in um, in different cartridges, you know, so you basically got a bit of a selection of pellets to fire just to make things interesting. And then basically once you've uh, you've loaded all those up, you can either drop them in your speed loader, drop them in like so, push and twist and that locks them, obviously I've just got the one in there, but that locks it and then when you uh, 
open your cylinder, just drop it in, push, and it releases them. What I did find with this speed loader, and I think basically it's the design of the gun, is the cylinder doesn't come out quite far enough like it would on a conventional firearm. So the side of the gun kind of interferes with the speed loader. You see what I mean? You can't get a real sort of straight aim at it basically. You've got to go in at a bit of an angle. I mean it works. Uh, you'll see what I mean if you try it. But uh, I found that was, I don't know, maybe over time you're going to start scuffing this with the speed loader and the cartridges. You're going to sort of start you know, marking all the side of the gun, but and it works and it is good fun. I found it is just as good fun, to be fair, if you're a gun, gun nut like me, just loading in the cartridges individually. Um, you do get a bit of a buzz out of that if you, if you don't fire firearms or you're in a country where you're not allowed handguns, like here in the UK. It's quite, uh, quite good fun loading that up. You know, and then you've got like a six shots there, and then you can basically just fire them off single action or double action. But it all looks quite cool when you've got your pellets loaded in there. Look, there's that cartridge that I've put in with the pellet. Looks pretty mean when you've got a cylinder full of loaded cartridges there. Obviously, don't look down the barrel at it this way but you kind of get the meaning of what I'm on about it does look cool when it's all loaded up oh, they, they didn't really eject amazingly well then but uh, but yeah it's a pretty cool gun I do love this feature of the uh, loading up the pellets into the cartridges it really is cool um, quite a time consuming thing you know you're You'll fire off your six shots in seconds and then you'll spend two or three minutes loading up again. But yeah, it's all part of the fun, you know. Um, it's the beauty of this thing. Now the manual for the gun isn't too bad actually. Obviously you've got all your technical specifications and stuff and all your do's and don'ts. You know, it's pretty much mandatory in... Uh, most uh, gun manuals now but it goes into a bit of detail uh, the diagrams are quite good I could understand them anyway so it must be half decent tells you how to load up the pellet into the cartridge and how to use the speed loader so yeah the manuals not too bad at all I'll just flick through it and show you guys. Gives you all the specs there. Tells you about all the accessories you can get as well. So you got like um case and the uh, holster but I think the main thing you'll want to buy extra with this gun is more cartridges and if you've got more cartridges you're going to need one or two more of these things the speed loaders just to make things a bit more uh, interesting for fast fire fun but yeah overall it's not a bad gun for the money you know um, you're getting a a pretty cool revolver, a nice looking revolver um, for around £160 here in the UK um, and it's not too bad, the quality isn't, you know, it's it's not too bad at all but you will get a good buzz out of firing this gun and loading this gun as well what I noticed as well guys, which I don't really like is when you open the cylinder obviously it spins freely like that but when you've got a cartridge in 
you can't spin it like you would like to do, if you know what I mean, when you've got all your shells in, give it a spin and then close it up. You can't do that because the cartridges, if you can just see that there, catch on that bit. So that's a bit of a shame because, you know, it'd be quite good fun just to give that thing a spin and just close it up before you shoot. But uh, So what I'll do guys, I'll give you a bit of a close up of it and get a good look at it. When the cartridges are loaded up into this gun, they do rattle about a little bit. As you can see, there's a bit of movement there. So it's a bit of a rattler when it is uh, loaded up. Now once the pellets are loaded up into the cartridges, they will not fall out, which is good. Giving that a good shake, and that pellet is not coming out of there. So that is a good feature, because the last thing you want to do is load these things up and then you know, bang them in your speed loader, go to load them and they've all dropped out. That would sort of annoy you just a little bit. But uh, there's just enough tolerance in there, like in any uh, air rifle magazine, just to stop the pellets uh, obviously falling through. But I really do quite like these uh, these cartridges. They're nice and tough and heavy duty, so it doesn't really matter if you drop these things, you know, on the floor. They're uh, they're not going to get battered. They feel really sort of quite tough, and like I say, your pellets tend to stay in there. Obviously, that one's not moved. I'll drop it again, nose down. Still in there, not budged. So yeah, I think they've definitely got that right. ASG have. And then here's a cartridge, obviously with no pellet in. So basically, it's just a, it's just a tube for the CO2 to pass through to push that pellet out. But yeah, pretty cool. And they even sound quite good as well. Now the box is just a cardboard box. And you've got like the polystyrene bit that you can hear squeaking. So it comes uh Comes quite well packaged, all your cartridges in there. Only comes with the six cartridges. Be nice if it come with a few more, saves you buying them, but you definitely will need to buy more cartridges though. But yeah, that's the box. Gives you all the specifications on there and whatnot. So yeah, overall guys, not a bad little gun, you know. Um it is what it is, it's a CO2 revolver, um, but I love these cartridges, I really do like that and I love the fact that it's a pellet firing CO2 revolver. And the speed loader as well is a bonus, but just a, a good fun plinker, uh, give you a lot, of, uh, a lot of enjoyment loading the cartridges up and obviously shooting the gun, uh, it's quite good fun. Thanks for watching guys, that's your rack and load review of the ASG Dan Wesson 6 inch revolver. 
pellet version with the rifle barrel. Thanks for watching.